I have flipped dozens of Minecraft bases since I became a YouTuber, but which ones are the best? Well, today I've collected the top six most insane Minecraft base flips I've ever done. And if you guys can find all eight hidden sea pickles this video, you win. All right, Mango, go ahead and start adding onto your base. Maybe add some detail inside of it. And I'm going to give you a couple cool upgrades here. All right. You want to learn a little trick you didn't know? If you hoe, already hoe dirt, it turns back to regular grass. You just have to step on it. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's how you turn it back. This is, this is genius. I didn't even know that. Thank you. So here's what I'm thinking. We need to get a big old fat nether portal back here. Okay. So the back wall becomes nether portal. I'm actually going to show you how to go to the nether and get a pink sky. You ever seen a pink sky in the nether? No, I have not. If you come to the nether and you go to the warped biome and you put on night vision potion, the sky becomes pink. That's one of the greatest features in Minecraft. You can get a pink sky. People won't know how you did it. It's going to give you a little bit of like flexing power, I think. Full chest, night vision pokens, drink to see pink sky. All right, come try this out. Tell me if you think this will make your friend jealous. Go ahead and drink one of those and then follow this path. All right, now look at the fog. Is it pink? Is it kind of purple? Oh, it looks so cool. If you look off into the distance of the bear, it's all pink. I think it's a dub. Now I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest with you. If you come back through the portal, it takes you inside of somebody else's base. I'm not, I'm not sure where we are. We just broke into someone's house under construction, bro. We did. How do we get back to your base? So pink nether portal, it's got an issue because if you go through it, you don't come back. So maybe we'll just put a little warning on this sign. Uh, we could even trap your friend in here. Make sure he can, like, never come back. And let's get this thing cleaned up. We, it needs to be bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is too tiny. We're gonna expand the whole front half, I think. Make it nice and long and slender, you know? I'm thinking a little bit of a fireplace over here. Okay, okay, little fireplace action. All right, you work on the fireplace. I'm gonna do the inside. So, guys, I want the guy to come see this base and still think he's a noob. So, I'm actually gonna make it an optical illusion so that when he looks at the outside, it still looks super tiny. But then when we get inside, it's actually, like, mega large. I don't know how I'm gonna do that or if it's even possible, but that is the goal. Okay, so I got like the basic design of his house made, but I got this really sick idea on the inside that I want to use to make this thing look bigger on the inside than it is. But before I do that, I need to seal the back off. And I'm actually going to create some automatic items inside that he can use. So first, we're going to go down and dig out a massive area right here. Okay, so that's deep enough. Now, let's make the area really big on the inside. So now when you walk inside the base, it looks super tiny on the outside, but the inside has this mega large area downstairs. So the first thing I want to do down here before I decorate it is actually create some generators because I want him to have unlimited items. There's a way that I can make you an automatic basalt generator. I think we do soul sand here and then ice right above it. Oh, it does. Look at that. We have created a basalt generator. You can actually mine that basalt. So all we have to do then is, oops, messed that up. That's kind of sick. And then we could do next to it a cobblestone generator. Yes, we've done it. We've created two custom generators in the basement of this new house. We will use a copper block to make people jealous. And then right in the middle, we'll do some glass. That way these two just have a little separation. Dude, this looks pretty sick to be honest with you. I think we just honestly clean this build up here now with just a little simple slab with a lantern. Absolutely unreal. This is masterful. All right, you wanna come look at this base real quick? Just like dead honest, what do you think? Um. The exterior looks ugly. It needs more depth. In order to make this player jealous, we've got to get some really unique builds. So now what I want to do is actually create an underground farm using a fence that you've never even heard of in Minecraft. Have you ever seen a warped trapdoor fence design? Look at how cool that is. So this is where we're actually going to try to create an underground animal cage. And since we have this weird netherite theme, I guess it would be really rare and make his friend even more jealous if we had nether mobs down here. Maybe like, I don't know, a strider? Look at that. Bobble generator, basalt generator, a mob farm over here with a custom fence that you've never seen. Yo, what, what you making over here? What is this? This is interesting. Axolotl Sanctuary. Axolotl Sanctuary. That's my energy. That's what I'm looking for. We need a blue axolotl. You know how jealous he'd be if you got a blue one? I don't have a blue one. I'm very sorry about that. Make, go find a way to get a blue one. I'll be back. Okay, so guys, whoa. I want AFK to get an idea and you got two of them. Let's go. You know how fast you're going to be the leader of this clan, bro? You're going to get back in there and you're going to create your own guild. You like mangoes? Yes. Love Put this on right now. No one allowed in this base unless they wear it. That's what I'm talking about right there. What we're going to do is create a big room over here that is all optical illusions. He's going to see this and it's really going to be a selling point. So we're going to stick with the warped plank design. Nice. That came out kind of cool. Now, guys, here's our first optical illusion. One that very few of you will even know about. This lily changes directions depending on where you stand. Look at this. Now it's facing right. Watch this. I'm gonna blow his mind. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You want your mind blown? Yes. Once you get back down here, let me know. I'm gonna show you something that'll just absolutely make your brain explode. Look at this lily. Look at this lily. You see this lily? What direction is the flower? West. Wait, what? Stop moving. <laughs> Why is it moving? Exactly. Welcome to the optical illusion room. Why don't we just do freaking six of them? Like this would really be crazy, wouldn't it? What's crazier than six? Nine. That's right. Nine. Look at that. A full optical illusion room. I mean, I've just, I've never seen anything like it in my life. We've got the basalt spawner, the cobble generator, the mango theme. 
We gotta zoom, we got optical illusion. So what would be the next theme here? Obviously cars. So I'm gonna build a garage here with a actual functional working vehicle inside the garage. So we'll keep it out of warped wood, make a nice little wood thing here. It's not bad. It kind of honestly looks like a table. Then you grab a honey and a slime. I'm pretty sure that these work together to make things move. I've seen pros do it. I'm gonna do some Googling. This looks like a car, kind of, right? You see what I'm saying? Like you got like the little engine, you got, it also looks like an alligator, I guess, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, let's do this. Put a sticky here and then maybe one more honey. We'll do slime, we'll do slime, more slime. Observer coming down. All right, Mango, take a look at what I made down here. This might be the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. To activate it, we come over to here. We put a single block right here. Oh, nope, that, oh God. Oh, it's going! Oh, no way. Have you ever seen anything like this? There's gotta be a way to turn this around, right? How do we, how do we turn this around? So guys, uh, while helping this noob, I realized the car I made actually does work, but it doesn't turn around. And so that means it's a one-time use feature, which means instead of being an actual car, it's going to become an emergency escape route. Bro, look at how sick this is. A cloudy day emergency escape route. You can't beat that. While he's working on the back patio, guys, I need to like update the inside because obviously this looks really bad still. Like all these walls are kind of like messy and they need some depth. So I've got this really cool building hack that I kind of invented myself. Step one, take all walls that you can back one. So we're going to do some stone bricks. It's going to literally be magic to you guys. Copper is supposed to look like a little pipe system here on the wall. The floor needs fixed. So let's go ahead and repair the floor. I don't think this is still enough to make him jealous. Like it's a very cool design, but it's still missing quite a bit. So I'm going to do this roof here and I want a very industrial feeling up here. So I feel like a gray concrete. Okay, so we've got the idea now down here. We've got some crazy builds. Now we're going to actually add insane levels of detail to the wall because it looks kind of bad. The pipes don't actually look like pipes. There's just some work that needs done. So what I'm thinking is I can actually add these little trap doors and it almost makes this actual elevator look like a pipe. Look at how cool that looks now. The pipeline is like integrated into the wall. I think that's kind of a cool design right there. Let me know what you think whenever you come up here and you see uh, this gigantic pile of diamonds. Oh, that's very flexy. You do have a lot of diamonds. Wow. Oh. That's only like half. Wow, this guy's been busy, huh? Well, I've been out here building the base. He's been out here collecting a pile of flex diamonds. What do you guys think uh, of the drip? Oh, full diamond! He really isn't a noob anymore. If you want to use your um, chest room, I think this is the best way to do it. Ready? You have to come up here. You have to hit this, bounce up, and then you can get there. And that's the only way. If you got an MLG up there, you don't get it, you know? You know what we could do to make this even better? Optical illusion room is now the villager optical illusion crafting room. That is a multi-purpose room right there, if I've ever seen one. So guys, I just found this guy who's AFK inside of his Minecraft base. And this thing is absolutely disgusting. This guy has an underground farm right here, which has... A very limited space to maneuver in. He's got a weird redstone wire here. And then look how ugly the staircase. Actually, it's not bad. The staircase is kind of cool. But this is his actual base. It's underwater. I can see he went for something ambitious. This is a disaster. So I'm going to make his day. And we're going to knock this out of the park. So uh, unfortunately, I don't even... I don't even know if this guy knows who I am. So this might be weird to see a man inside of his base that just starts randomly destroying things. Oh, well, wait a minute. Is there another floor? That's his entrance. Just unsecured with ladders. He laddered all the way. Oh my, oh my. Three lightning rods. Wow, dude is living on Lightning Rock Island. I guess what I want to do then is start in the main room because this is going to be a disaster. All right, let's make them villagers proud. First things first, clean this crap up. This, it looks like he... <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh my God, this is supposed to be a giant freezer and he actually redstone this thing. We could definitely step this up though and make it even cooler. What I want to do is turn this actually into a giant food armor kind of prepare for exploration setup. We will load one of them up with cooked chicken. Obviously Halloween theme. What else do you need when you're exploring? Totem of undying. Maybe he goes for an exploration and he gets loaded up with some totems and then we can put a hopper on top of it. We'll, we'll do a chest on top of the hopper with some more. We're gonna load this one up big time for him. So we have a totem, we have some food. I don't know what else you need when you go exploring. Like for me, if I'm going exploring, I would be happy getting like potions of speed. So we're gonna do like some hoppers on these because these are a little bit more complex. There we go, there we go. This guy's day is gonna be made so hard. I think the last one that would be useful would be ender pearls. So now, all all these are hooked up. Let's go ahead and pull this. And every time you need to leave, you get a speed potion of reef. Like that is actually really cool, right? The only thing is it kind of was ugly before and I do want to make sure we can make it look a little prettier. So look at that. That is actually incredible, dude. That is a really good upgrade. All right, this room looks a lot more like a lab right now, but in order for it to really be a lab, we got to upgrade this back corner right here. It looks like I, I, I named it the Smeltronic 1400, but this is not a very strong smelter and that's all it does. So I'm going to replace this with an actual Smeltronic 1400. We're going to have to get rid of the lava. We'll put the chests down here. Blast furnaces can go right here. Some hoppers. So now 
These chests, oops, these need to be connected. These chests connect to this furnace. This furnace connects to this. And then all we have to do is put uh, two more hoppers right above it with another chest on top. Take a look at how cool this is. All right, this is actually incredible. We can do, our coal goes into this and then whatever resource you want to smelt would go up here. So I'm going to put like a diamond down. That way he understands it's like some sort of a ore. Is this one not connected? Oh, it's not. Okay, now we gotta do a little bit of search. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, careful. Nope, oh God, I forgot we were underwater. Okay. Wow. This is for some reason connected to the wall. Should connect to this. There we go. I like charcoals look a little better. So charcoal goes there. The diamond door goes up there. This tells him what goes into what. So now this is loading up. Then we go ahead and take one of these into here. That should send it down, and then it begins to smelt, and then once it's smelted, that comes into the chest. Now it's an actual super smelter. Bro, this thing is so crazy, but I've been here for a while. I, I'm gonna go check on that wedding and see how they're doing. Yo, what's up, man? I'll take a- I'll take a double pickle. Hey, what's that cage for, by the way? Why was he in that the whole time? Oh, it was just like a- it was just like a little demonstration, like- like a little sh like a little skit. All right, man. All right, cool. I was, I was just checking. That's that pretty wild. Now, obviously, he likes science, so I'm going to give him a really cool science experiment, and I'm going to put that on the roof. If it's a science lab, it needs something cooler. It needs to have, like, a vine. <laughs> He's going to come back and be like, bro, oh, no, 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 no. He's got his own entrance, but you know what? We're going to take what he has because I don't want to have to build that much through the water. This is going to be where it's at. This is a really far tunnel. Dude, I'm just going to have to take this all the way to the top like this because I, I cannot do his little ladder setup. All right, now I can get to the top of his three lightning rods that he has. What I want to do now is build one of the coolest things possible on top of his roof. And unfortunately, we got to break some of these lightning rods here. I know you guys like them. We need a big flat surface to work on. I would like to face it towards that mountaintop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a triple little thing like triple little bang, 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 bang. All right, there's our water. This is kind of how the launcher begins. These all face the center, and there's gonna be a dispenser right on top, like right there. Guys, this is a very simple little design here. You're gonna absolutely love something like this. It's just a matter of does it work anymore, and I don't know the answer to that. This one's gonna be pretty cool. Our little science kid's gonna love it. Assuming it works, these will load it. That's gonna drop one, and this will launch out the TNT, and it's actually cannon on the roof. <laughs> He's gonna love it. Dude is gonna love this thing. I do want to make it blend in though just a little more and then I think we'll make like a little bit of a Slightly lower pathway here like that way when you come up to the top You just look straight ahead you have a sign and it says like a uh, nuclear launch device he Even put lightning rods down because he likes like probably science enough to put them down and finally We'll just do a couple more details here just to clean up. That is really cool, dude scared me. So that looks cool. I, I gotta do this real quick. There's gotta be a boat dock. Honestly, I feel like calcite would be kind of cool. This looks so much better, dude. The boat parking really pulls it together for me. I love this so much. We have so many great base hacks in here. He doesn't have anything related to beehives. What if we took a bee nest and we put this somewhere down here, like inside of one of his little chambers, maybe like over here. So what I want to do is a beehive and I want to see if putting an oak button actually makes it kind of look like it's dripping and then a honey block below it to actually make it look like it's dripping. So we're gonna take all this out. We're gonna make it look like there's a little honey spot on the floor down here. And I kind of like that. <laughs> it's kind of a cool little design. Uh, maybe we could do like a fake tree inside. So we'll put down some birch leaves. And now obviously it's fall themed, but this would be kind of a cool little indoor feature. Like you don't see something like this too often. You basically bring the outdoors inside with this sort of build. I genuinely like, it. I think that came out kind of sick. It actually looks like dripping honey. All right, we've done a crap ton of these. Let's go check out on our wedding real quick. I gotta go see what's up, man. The villager man was being kind of weird last time. I need to make sure everything's okay. Wait, dude, you like my pants? No, thank you. Thank you, dude. Oh my gosh, you're, you're too nice. Seriously. I just feel like we could hang out a lot, you know? Like, I, I really would love to be like good friends, man. Take a swim, whatever you want to do. Like, that's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, get back in there, dude. You got this. I know it's been rough. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, guys, I literally just went onto the internet and found some of the best builders, brought them onto my server. They should be joining me here in a second. What's up, boy? How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Now, what I want to do is actually add a couple more details here for him. And this is going to kind of look like guards at the front. And what I'm going to try to do is actually create a sword. What you can try is actually pushing these into the guards. And these may actually end up looking like swords. Okay, that actually is possibly perfect, folks. This might work well. It's close enough, you know? Yeah, the uh, swords are now fixed. Oh, there it is. That's why you guys are the pros. That looks good. Look at that. That's a much better chest setup here. Pop some barrels down on the side. You got yourself your own little creative chest space. Okay, this little turn right here, I'm not really sure particularly the reason, but it would be kind of a cool little science design if we took this all the way up to the water, put some green glass on the ceiling, 
and this kind of gave you a little look into the surface. Uh, did I ruin something with that? This is gonna be a secret entrance, 100%. Oh, there it is. That's pretty cool. Now, one thing every scientist needs is a very cluttered table because scientists are cluttered people. I need a room to make a three by three table and it's not gonna fit up here. You know what? Yes, it will. I could put it right here in the corner. You can actually match cartography tables to dark oak wood, and then it looks like there's a bunch of trash on the table, which is a really cool feature. It just has this nice little messy table vibe. Maybe a stair will look better because then it will look kind of like a little seating area, like a little office space. Look at this. We grab ourselves a little computer monitor and put it in there, and now it looks like he has a bunch of junk behind his computer. That's a great detail, dude. Okay, you know what? Will you guys work on that downstairs area? I'm gonna turn this upstairs into like a chill zone. I'm gonna give them like an actual grill. So the way this grill's gonna work is we're actually going to place item frames down and then banners. Nope. All right, we're just gonna put this in like this. We don't need the banners. These are little things on your grill, all right? These are little grill things. If we put some iron bars off to the side and then a, oops, and then a pressure plate on top of this, this actually kind of looks like a very legit side piece to a grill. Or I could just do straight up an item frame and then some like raw smutton. This one might look better. There, something like that. Back of the grill, I think some iron doors, maybe a little bit something like this. And then to really seal the deal here, we can go underneath it, place a sneaky little campfire right there. That's gonna make it look like the grill's actually on. And we just have to kind of cover it up so that you can't see it. It's really an interesting build. It's actually a great looking grill. Dang, this place is looking sciencey. I want to say that we maybe should change the vine in the middle. What do you think? Could be a water elevator. Oh, that'd be sciencey. I think the elevator would look sick over here on the corners. Like one here, one here. Bro's gonna freak out when he sees this new base. Unless he absolutely hates science. <laughs> He's gonna be very- Yeah, I, I really took it and ran with it. You know, like I said, I never spoke to him, so he really could go either way. The staircase looks kind of cool now. These pro builders are making this look so much better. Like, it actually looks like a legit science lab with real experiments. All right, everyone's working now on the inside of the base. What I want to do is work on a little bit more of the outside. Let's go ahead and create maybe a little balcony right here. Something like this. And we're gonna hit it with a little bit of lime green railing to kind of secure in the science vibe up here. I kind of want it to just like be like a fun little maze. See, so now you come out, you've got a little staircase that goes up. I'll come in and clean this up later. Then there'll be one more. There we go. So now it's got a little organic shape. You can walk up, you can have your viewing platforms. We've got a little bit of green around here. So I'm gonna surround a little bit more of this in the green. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So now, what was a really ugly outdoor place has a little bit of a shell, which gives it a little bit more of an evil vibe. Come downstairs, I want to show you something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're in for a treat, folks. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, that's sick. That is taking a build and elevating it to the next level. This is getting out of control, but the outside of it is really getting some cool looks to it. Like, obviously, we're refining it and it's slowly taking shape. But right here in this flat zone, what I really want to try to do is create something kind of like this that has a mechanical vibe to it. Okay, hang with me. These are reverse stairs. Ooh, wait a minute. That's kind of cool. We'll make these all stairs. Look at that. So that's like got this like nice little like, I don't know, pinwheel type shape or something to it. Then we could come in with a little bit of slime in the middle. Dude, I have no idea what I'm making, but this is kind of sick. If I take this entire build and very carefully paste it, there we go, that is cool. And I think it actually should launch. Let's test her out. Wish me luck. I'm gonna shoot. Oh, <laughs> I did it. We have spent an immense amount of time redoing the outside and it still kind of looks weird, but I kind of want to keep the organic shape to it. I love the death blaster. I think it needs a little more copper. Anyway, before I do that, I'm going to go check on the wedding. Yo, you guys doing another skit? Get help? What do you mean get help? It's crazy. You guys are just wild. So obviously my earlier boat parking has since been destroyed, but this gave me an inspirational idea to create some new boat parking out front that maybe looks a little bit simpler like this. When there's no boats here, it's gonna look like a bunch of spikes. But when we do have some boats parked, look at that. Now that is some boat parking. And the way that the boats actually match because of the Halloween vibes is really cool. That's a great front entrance to me. I think it really seals everything you want to see in a front entrance base. These are the kind of details that when players see their base, blow them away. A giant slime moving pipeline that's leaking Leaking, and this slime actually has a crack, comes all the way down to the floor, and then it's leaking over the edge into the water where it's floating and creating a little bit of an oil slick of slime. <laughs> that is so nice, dude. Now, guys, we're going to do our best to make sure we find this player, but if we don't, I'm going to make sure he knows by putting a signed hat 
assigned head of my skin and assigned itself telling him what happened to apparently me. i am in charge of building olivander's wand shop olivander's is a very dark building when i look up like photos of it so i think we're gonna go with this polished deep slate block this shop right here now i want to build a really cute table outside maybe two of them and you can do this with some campfires some splash potions of water and some trap doors so put on your thinking caps my friends because you're about to learn put these down slam this up slam this up go ahead and go boom and boom and then a nice lit candle right in the center we're gonna go with a white a flint and steel and this is gonna look absolutely adorable oh my goodness oh are you serious right now bro is that the greatest thing ever that's cute nice little hedge right there on the side and then in the back we can add a little bit of flower action something like that now one of the things we need is to actually furnish the inside and make it actually feel like a plant shop so i got this idea to actually like literally sell mandrakes inside this shop we're gonna go ahead and place like some shelving back here that's gonna look a little bit like this or some plant pots and then if i put down some trap doors on the side this is gonna be one of the craziest builds you'll ever see in your life now it looks like a planter box with some coarse dirt and then to give it that mandrake vibe i can pop in a a mangrove pop it see those are kind of like little baby mandrakes those little things that scream at you you know what i'm talking about i feel like they would probably die in darkness maybe i'm not 100 sure but i'm gonna give them a little bit of light i'm a big window guy look at that we got the mandrakes inside come on tell me that's not actually epic we have the two windows out front on either side and then the doorway in the middle now i just need to get like the front of the facade finished out and then we can start working on the inside which is going to be the true hard part of this build we have to put all those wand boxes in everywhere like that is going to be a nightmare all right now obviously you do use plants to do some brewing in harry potter so what i think we could potentially try here is maybe a little bit of a brewing corner right here in the back a little bit of a cauldron action right next to it just something to kind of you know bring the vibes honestly i think we should center it one there one there cauldron over here i'm gonna do some more plants over here different species of course i would like to do some cactuses over here inside of pots not sure what these would represent but it just feels like a spiky plant would be a really good item to add so we'll just put them in here for now hmm, that's sus looking it's not bad i mean it's not bad you get a little bit of bookshelf action you could pop some trap doors in the top just to keep that vibe there i think really honestly on the inside of this all you really need now is some uh rooftop barrels sitting on some slabs and then like some uh spider web and the last detail i would like to do is maybe putting some potions on the wall ah I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll just stick to flowers. Potions feels like a little bit much. A mossy carpet on the ground. Are you joking me? Look at that. That is so cool. What do you guys think of my uh, store? Come take a look at this. Don't hold back. Let me know your honest thoughts. It's pretty amazing. I know. It looks good. A simple little shop. Simple. Oh, uh, I was going for like incredibly advanced. Bro, this thing is so good. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is probably the best build y'all have ever seen in your lives, isn't it? Yeah. I just added a bunch of random trap doors. Not really sure why. I just felt like it was a vibe that I needed. And so I added it. And there you go. Kind of interesting. Kind of unique. Kind of fun. Last thing I'm going to do here, guys, on this particular build before we move on to the rest of Hogsmeade is I'm going to build a couple of interesting like little mini trees, like a little shrubberies around here. I'm going to really just implement moss in the way it's meant to be used y'all are not using moss the right way look at those little trees i mean look at this is crazy something like that's kind of interesting you know kind of just having it come off the front there then maybe just a little bit off the sides bringing it all the way down just like that oh yeah oh yeah look at that Whew. all right to me that looks a lot more interesting you just got little bits of moss honestly it looks a little bit like dreadlocks i'm gonna be real with you but it's all right i put a lot of detail into it i want to go see what isaac's up to though because i know he was building the wand shop I'm gonna be real with you. That's about the most uneven looking thing I've ever seen. It's not bad though. Oh, is it? What? Wow, this is freaking nice. Welcome to Ollivander, Zach. This is taking a long time. That is a large build right there. It is, but you know, it has a lot of details, Zach. So you kind of have to go pretty large. Did you see mine though? Come look at mine. Just so you know what you're up against for the competition. Oh, good little cozy feel over here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Go in there. Go in there. Take a look. Take a look. This is the flower shop. You Ricks. know what it's missing, Zach? What? It's missing a Venus flytrap. How about this? Yes, that's what it needs. But you need to build like <laughs> yeah. a, you need a build like a big plant that has that coming off of it you're right i'm gonna wonder if i can pull one of those off like maybe like bring this thing up and kind of make this look like a giant living animal <laughs> it's not bad i don't know really what i'm doing to be honest i'm not really sure what this is i just need to have a little venus fly trap field i'm gonna try to put a skeleton skull up on the corner just so you understand it is a violent plant it will eat you manator plant warning don't touch this thing will just suck you up and eat you alive that's cool i'm glad that isaac liked the building all right i feel a little bit of a competitive nature to isaac because his building's bigger than mine and i i it, <laughs> I don't like that. So I'm going to be building the building right across the street from Ollivander's, which happens to be Honey Dukes. This is a sweet shop that sells a lot of sweets and stuff. All right, this one has another similar shape to the one I just worked on. I want my door to be directly in front of Isaac's door to make sure this is like actually symmetrical. So I'm going to get the door placed first. I think this is like a nice path. Not, not too wide though, something like that. You don't really see a lot of people use glazed terracotta and frankly, I'm not sure if I should be using it. His building must be massive. I am basically building mine to scale of how this actually looks. And it basically looks like this. It's very odd to me, but that's like kind of how the front door looks like i mean it's just really weird looking 
<laughs> bro, that, that wand store is towering over the city. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh god. What the crap? Now, another interesting thing about Honeydukes is it actually uses a pink border around the top. Um, so right above the window, it actually transitions to a pink. I'm, I'm kind of competing with you, Isaac, so you can make a better build, just so you know. Um, well, Zach, I have a pretty good reference image of, I think, what is Harry Potter world, and that's what I'm, I'm using. We'll see who wins. Well, Zach, what are you building? Are you building the candy shop? Yeah, I'm making the candy shop. Right across from me. Wow. That's where it's located, because I wanted to build across from you to, to see if I could build better than you. Yeah, so this is going to be the front facade here of Honeydukes. Obviously, it's a little bit interesting because there's a lot of uh, pink and, and blue colors. I need like a good looking stair and I feel like Crimson's gonna be the one here to really tie this together, something like that. All right, that is not bad. I mean, that is a very uh, unique front facade, but that's gonna be the front of the building. And um, then next to it, it really just is mostly, ouch, a uh, stone facade that's kind of backed one up. So we're gonna take it back one like this. We're gonna hope and pray it ends up looking kind of decent. I'm putting a lot of color in into this. I literally can't stop hiccuping, so I'm going to finish building the rest of this base, and hopefully it looks as good as I hope it does. Okay, guys, I have decided that bookshelves are the best looking thing for the wands. Now, I feel like everybody's going to hate it and I'm going to have to explain it. But guys, there's a lot of detail on the bookshelf block. So that is going to be our wand boxes. I still can't stop hiccuping. It's been like 15 minutes. It hurts so bad. There was a way to stop. I don't know if it will work, work for you, though. What is it? I breathe. usually hold my breath. <gasps> Yeah, 20 seconds. Let's do a minute. Come on, let's test. Oh, okay, <laughs> don't try, man. I still have hiccups. I held it for a very long time. Hey, Zach. Yeah. I uh, finished the dragon. Oh, what, what, what? You made a dragon? Oh my god, look at this. Oh, you made a whole dragon in the time that I made basically a little crappy building. Oh, it even has Harry Potter up here. That is ep epic. Okay, I have been making some big progress on the interior of Ollivander's. We have all of the wands. That's what the bookshelves are. These are all the little boxes of the wands. So basically, they're everywhere all along the walls. We have a bunch of rows of them here. And then here is the desk where Mr. Ollivander would sit. And that's me today because I built the shop. So All right, this building structure is done. Let's get all the details in. This is where it's really going to whip his but step one, we got to get the vibes right. Let's go ahead and make a candy dispenser right here in, uh, I would like to do it kind of like right here so people don't miss it. There we go. That's good. We're going to use a gold helmet on this and then, uh, pop that on there. So we're going to use some pink wool here. We're going to use some glass. That's going to be cyan. Then we're going to use our piston. If this doesn't work, I will actually cry because we are on a public server, mine, play.loverfella.com. And the issue sometimes is that things have to be disabled so that things can't be abused. This may be something that was disabled. We're about to find out though. That is for sure. That seemed good. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't look exactly like a gumball machine, but it's kind of there. It really just kind of doesn't look like gumballs. I do have another idea. Some servers like mine have a head search where I can search for a head. For example, candy. Aha, candy machine. So what I could do. Dang it. Now that is a gumball machine, all right? Now you walk in, you're literally faced with an actual gumball machine. And then if I'm smart about this, I could make just a few of these to make it feel a little bit more exciting. So like one there, one right here, one right here, and then one right here. Like this is gonna look really cool if I do it right. And it's gonna take me a minute. So enjoy this uh, cut back to Isaac. All right, now that is something special. Now, obviously we do need some seats in here for these guys to enjoy their treats that they get. So um, I think maybe the best area would just be like right here by the wall and we'll put up a window. This is a pretty cool like modern looking table design. I like to pop into some builds, like a solo table here perhaps. If you're like a loser, this is where I would be. I'd be a loser. And then a little bit of a window. And since they do like in these Harry Potter videos so much to extend out their windows, we're gonna give them another one of them little extendy boys right here. This is gonna be what I call the Isaac Destroyer, all right? These are very unique, interesting, and aesthetic candy canes. Pop in like that, pop in like that, come over here like that, bring it on straight down. Sheesh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but this to me looks amazing. Now, if I use some composters along with some of those candy skulls we had earlier, I may be able to create some candy bins which you would reach in and just fill to your heart's content with a bunch of jellies. I think it might look better actually in the wall. And then 
Just like that. that. I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. All right, now we actually got the actual Harry Potter movie up and they have like a black and white floor on the inside, giving it like some sort of diner vibe. So enjoy this extremely boring montage. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks so freaking good. Wow. I didn't expect that to come together so well. I'm going to expand this over one more so it's a little bit more even. And then as far as the walls, I mean, they're so empty. I need to get some sort of like design to put candy on the walls. And I'm not sure how. Obviously, you don't need ladders. If you're a wizard, you just fly up there. And we're going to get a little bit more detail in here with some indoor stairs. And that's going to be some bonus candy storage up top is what that's going to be. Um, the window is going to extend up one more. Oh, it's snowing out. Oh, nice. Something like that. Because what I like to do on these windows is come in and hit them with a little bit of like a uh, little bit of a detail kind of like this. It frames it a little better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What do you think, Isaac? Zach, are you ready to see Ollie Vanders? I am, but what do you think of this? Look at the detail. Wow. Zach, I have something for you right here. I thought this would help you. That's why I came over. Read what that is. Br it's it's the freaking every flavored bean. It's literally from the movie. We got to replace some of these over here. There we go. Oh, that's literally a Harry Potter item. That is so funny. All right, let's see what Isaac's looks like. <laughs> All right, here is Ollivanders. No, say it the correct way. It's Ollivanders. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, is that a tra Whoa, is this the book from the movie? It is. That's the monster book. That's why it's with Hagrid. Oh, that's oh, that's actually sick. Okay, lots of wow, wow, floating <laughs> candles. Wow. Do you know what this green stuff is right here? Um, hint, Zach. What would we do without this? to travel. Flu powder? Flu powder. Bro. <laughs> this yep. is so good, actually. What about the second floor? Um, Does it really matter, though? Does anyone ever go to the second floor of this building? Both mm -hmm. are good, but oh. I think Isaac's fits looks like a barber shop. into the Harry Potter. Thank you. It's got a more cozy feel, doesn't it? Oh, uh, it's not about being cozy. It's about being it accurate. Is, uh, it's hot, yeah. Yeah. dude. Uh, Zax also gives a very welcoming feel. Guys, we're split, so make sure you drop a comment. If you're Team Isaac or Team Zach, let me know in the comments below. Guys, this has taken over 90 minutes just to build these three bases. We have the entire Hogsmeade left to build and surprise a player with by Monday. This is going to be an immense amount of work. And Isaac is now starting the building over here, number seven, which we've labeled, and this will be the potion shop. Okay, we have turned over Ollivan to the builders. I mean, it's basically done. I am in charge of building the potion shop now. And it looks like Ollivanders is also getting the entire roof filled in with more details. So it's now a two-story building. We even updated a lot of these wands to show as looms because they look more like wands. I just thought of something right now. I should probably put a couple of sweet berry bushes back here by this to really bring it to life a little bit. So I feel like we maybe missed the ball on this. A couple of sweet berries would look really nice. A couple more of these. Uh, this is, I'm gonna keep coming back to this throughout. I just really want it to be the best thing I've ever built in my life. So Isaac's working on this. I'd like to help him for our first collaborative build of the day today so far. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on making just a little bit of uh, you know, a little bit of detail here for my boy. Now, I believe the yellow is going to be our paths and roads throughout this. So that's kind of where that needs to connect to at the end. I love the design of these little trees next to it and then we can come in here and hit it with just a tiniest detail of moss just to really bring that together and bring it alive that looks good we're gonna go for some deep slate design on this one some tiles there this looks good so this is the potion shop is what this is gonna end up looking like very interesting top there on that building i quite like it let's go ahead and get a sign out front pippin's potions now obviously on this one the inside is going to need massive levels of cauldrons lava water potions everything you could ever think of in terms of this Hmm. I actually hate that color. I think it looks really bad, <laughs> just to be honest. I think that's a terrible look. That's a little better. What I'm thinking is we can kind of make these go invisible on the wall just to kind of give it like a fun little, just a fun little potion vibe. I think that looks very good. See, that's a really cool, interesting looking potion wall. And you don't even need windows because it's got a little bit of brightness from this giant front facade right here. It looks really cool and interesting. Now I want to do some stacks of barrels kind of in the back here. And these are going to be essentially like storage for like lots of potions and ingredients and things like that. I'm going to throw some like brewing stands on these to make it look a little bit more like there are storages back here. And then maybe even like a fence to kind of say like, hey, like this is like off limits. Don't come back here unless you're like staff type thing. So I like get a little bit of storage back there. Maybe like a chest or two, something like that. Pop one of these down right here. Maybe one down up uh, right in this corner. I guess we would want some sort of window here. I think honestly, what if we want for like the vert windows? Oh no, tinted glass. I look good. That's kind of cool, actually. I put a big one in the middle and two little ones on the side and it created a nice little symmetry here when a room wouldn't have normally had symmetry. I want to put an Easter egg in here. So what I'm going to do is find an area to perch the owl, like somewhere up in the corner that maybe people wouldn't notice. That'd be kind of funny, I think. 
I don't think the roof looks that good in here. So what I wanted to do is kind of like close it off. Yeah, I think that looks better. I want to close it off with some of this. The green just really, I don't know. It looks good. That becomes the attic and you don't really need to go up there anymore. This feels like the kind of uh, area where Hermione would be. So I'm going to put an armor stand down and Hermione's going to be in here doing some potion brewing. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Zach, are you doing the inside of my potion shop? Yeah, what do you think? Wow, it actually looks pretty good. I'm glad you did it because I did not want to do it. Um, the roof design here, no idea what it is, but it's a roof. It, it looks <laughs> honestly like a, like a, like I'm not even sure. It looks really weird, but the inside is clean. Watch this, Zach. This is what is missing in this shop what? right here. I'm going to put him down. See if you know who that is. Snape. Snape. The potions master. Very smart. Very smart. Y'all ever seen a wall pattern like this before with glass? Because that's weird. Yeah. I'm not. I like it. And finally, after over seven days of building and a massive team of professional builders, I present to you Hogsmeade. This is the original building you recall me making in the very beginning of the episode, and it now leads downtown to Hogsmeade, where we literally have people on custom-made brooms flying through the sky. We've got actual potion shops fully stocked. We've got the three broomsticks. Look at how unbelievable this is. To scale, everything that you could ever need is in here. This person is even casting a magic spell here with their wand, and the giant flaming things coming out of the fire. I don't really know what type of spell. Maybe like Incendo or something. Incendo. This is a wizard battle between both my brothers taking place, which I think is cool. You've literally only seen a small fraction of Hogsmeade. The entire city was created. And if you thought we forgot the Owlry, you'd be wrong. Not only do we have actual working 3D modeled owls we created just for this specific build, we put them all throughout in their own cages all the way up to the top. It is unbelievable what is inside this base. In order to upgrade this, I've actually got nine unique ideas to make this scarier. The first one's pretty simple. It's what I call the dark doom hallways of despair. And so what I want to do is find a very tight hallway. A hallway that will be forced to walk down, honestly. Maybe I should do it to the basement. We're going to replace everything on the way down with black to make this even scarier. Bro, there's another floor in this basement? I didn't know it kept going down, bro. This is actually messed up. We'll have one single gap right here, and that's how it gets out. And that's our first task completed, but we have eight more to do. And each one of these will work together to create the literal most scary build in Minecraft history. It's already pretty scary, even in the daylight. Look at this. This is horrifying. I really need to get more skulls here. And for that, what I'm going to use is a chain and skeletons. Now, these are just a little bit creepy, but they're not creepy enough. Now, guys, one of the problems is, is when you try to hang skeletons from the ceiling, they don't look that realistic because there's a giant disconnect between the chain. But what if I told you there was a way to actually connect it to the ceiling? and actually look like the skeleton skull was hanging. This is one of my secrets that I'll be revealing at the end of today's video, but it's absolutely insane and it's gonna add a lot of detail to this base. I'm gonna do another few throughout the base, so let's go ahead and knock that out now. All right, now we have a couple of these skulls hanging, and I know that you don't think it looks that scary right now because we're just getting started, but what makes it cool is when they come in, they're actually gonna have the blindness effect because I'm gonna put a little bonus in here. I'm gonna give myself a command block, and by putting this command block right here at the entrance, and then putting some stone over it with some pressure plates. This command block can actually be triggered to give you blindness. When they step over these two pressure plates, they think they open the door, they actually get blindness, and this is what they're going to see inside the base, which makes it a little bit scarier. But one of the most powerful things in a haunted house isn't just the visuals, it's the sound effects, that's creepy. And I got something planned for that here in a second. I wanna create some dinner bone spiders because I feel like the sound effects of spiders and the visual of just their legs peeking through your blindness is going to be horrifying. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we have our dinner bones. Oh God, there's the Enderman, dude. Oh, it's Slenderman. Oh, that's creepy. I'm gonna keep you in here, dude. I'm not sure how you got in here, but you're staying. Hey, yo, chill, chill, my guy. I'm here trying to make it scary with you. So for these spiders, we do need a barrier, all right? And I feel like this is really good revenge. Like it teaches you don't hack, don't steal, like don't destroy my server. This guy's gonna learn a valuable lesson. There we go. Now we have an actual ceiling spider. Now if we go ahead and give ourselves blindness again, look at this, dude. Look at how creepy this is. It just, okay, well. The spinning in a circle takes away a little bit from how cool it can be, but you know, it's, it's, it's pretty creepy. Now this next one, you may have seen if you're a Minecraft OG and you watched my channel a long time ago. This is the Minecraft casket and this thing is creepy. And all you need to do is take a couple lecterns and place these down together. It's gotta be in the ground. You know, it's like they're already buried. There we go. 
There we go. A little bit of redstone around the edges here and literally looks like someone was murdered. Literally put inside of a coffin in the ground. And it, I think, would look creepier. A couple candies. Something about candles just adds like a really creepy vibe to it. And I really do need to see what's down here. So guys, let's check this out. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, just a giant dungeon. Wow. The basement is literally a torture dungeon. Obviously, <gasps> obviously it's like essential to get a couple of blood, a uh, little redstone, or as I like to call it, bloodstone down in the ground. The lack of skeleton skulls down here kills me. This is a little bit creepier. I think this room is going to be the grand finale room for the biggest scare of them all. So we're going to save that one for the end. We've got the coffin. We've got the head. We've got a lot of good creeper builds. But we need to step this thing up because it's not going to scare him yet. Now, I've got a very, very interesting way that I want to light this building up. And it's not with these weird candle lights. It's actually with something much more dramatic. What I want to do to scare them a little bit is try to create a light that's like unlike anything they've ever seen before. It's kind of like a reverse stalactite. It doesn't, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I think the stalactites actually make it creepy, so I'm gonna keep some anyway. The intent of this was a very unique build hack, but these by themselves already add so much, I think it's just good to keep them in here. Okay, so we've we built a lot of basic things here today, guys. None of this is really that scary, but the next one actually truly is that scary. What I'm about to build outside is going to be literally probably one of the actual scariest builds ever in Minecraft. The first thing we have to do is create two of these bookshelf columns like this. And then I believe we can put a fence in the middle. And trust me when I say, this is one you're gonna wanna remember. Then we're gonna create a little water channel here. All right, it just has to be three or four. I actually, I think even two is good. I uh, just need to get some water in here, all right? This is gonna be essential for creating the most scary thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Pop down an armor stand inside of that and take a look at this. What's about to happen? All right, literally nothing because it didn't flow. All right, don't even matter. We don't even need it. We'll just push it with a piston, all right? We'll just push it with a piston. We'll get innovative here. Bruh. There we go. That's what you got to do. Push a bookshelf into it. You just want to push it right up against this part right here, okay? Now that we've got that, we can move on to the next phase. You actually want it to fall. I think by breaking that, it should. Oh, why is it falling? Bro, what? Yeah, I don't know if this one's gonna work. This was supposed to be insane, but it's so freaking... Yep, that looks good. Okay, okay, okay. It's coming together. Push this down a little more. Okay, so now we have completely crushed bookshelves down using pistons. Inside of this, you can see there's an armor stand, all right? We'll take the redstone right here, and then we're going to connect that to bookshelf, piston, slime, and you're gonna put a zombie head right on top of that. There we go. Now, this stone button, when pushed, will trigger the redstone signal on this, which triggers this piston to push out, and that push will hit the back of the head, which will pop the zombie out, which will absolutely terrify anybody not expecting that side of thing. So, I'm not actually gonna rip this right now because it's gonna take so long to reset. Dude, that is sick. We'll get a couple candles here just to bring it together a little bit more, because I think those look good. Press button to enter. So that's just a way to make them think they actually have to press the button to walk through here. They don't. This one's gonna be so crazy, dude. Now, this is actually the skull of our hacker player. What we're gonna do with this skull is create one of the most disturbing Minecraft scary builds you've ever seen. And I think this one belongs in no place other than the dungeon. You see, at the bottom of this world, we're gonna dig a hole. If we're careful, we can place three snow, put a cauldron on top of that and fill that cauldron with lava. This is a really cool build. Cauldron, lava, obviously our lava is green because why would it not be? It's freaking Halloween lava, it's even cooler. And then you can take a dispenser behind it and dispense an armor stand right inside of this. This is kind of a cool way to actually allow you to put things in the cauldron. Let me show you what I mean. Pop a button down on the side, push it. Out comes your armor stand and you can see it looks like it's not falling as much as we would like because what we're gonna do is put his head. But when he's floating like that, it doesn't look good. So I need to innovate here and see if I can actually push this down with a little piston magic. Hey, that's actually kind of cool because it looks like he's peeking out of the lava. The only issue is lava's so bright, it lights up the bottom. And so you can still see the armor stand. So I think a slab would be okay here. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. He literally walks down and sees a ritual room with his skull on it after all the other jump scare stuff. I mean, this was actually legit kind of creepy. And what's even creepier is he's not even going to know that I made it. He's going to have no idea why it's here. But I feel like it would look a little better. All right. With like a Ouija board. But like a creepy Ouija board. So if I get some terra, oh no, oh uh, yeah, terracotta. This is definitely, in my opinion, the creepiest block in the game. Maybe uh, one of these in the middle, little item frame action in the center like this. I think it would be creepy if we used his skull. So we'll put another one of those skulls right in the center of this. Look at that. That's creepy. That's very creepy. And then all you really need is a couple candles and light these suckers up. And then you've got yourselves like a creepy looking Ouija board. I think we should do more frames around the edges with like sacrificial items, you know, like just kind of like this one should have like a eye. This one should have a black candle, maybe like a little redstone. Oh, that just looks like redstone. <laughs> maybe not that. A little bit of a skull here. Now you come downstairs and you see something like that. You cannot tell me you would not be borderline terrified. This is scary. Uh, I want to try to create abilities probably never seen. I want to try to create a Minecraft witch. We can use some copper on this one. It's a great idea here. This is the start of our witch. And I'm literally following a YouTube tutorial, guys, to make this one work. It's very difficult. I do want my skull to be a little creepier, so I'm going to go with a skeleton skull here. And you can kind of see it looks like a witch's hat now, just a little bit. Now, to really sell this one, we have to dye the leather armor. And I'm going to follow exactly what I'm being shown here. This is an extremely specific colorway to make this work. You need this many colors, and it's, it's actually crazy. You're going to put black dye in all these corners. Then you're going to do a red, a purple, and a brown. And this gives you apparently witches colored clothing. And that is hard to confirm until we put it on. So there we go. Oh, that does look good. It's like a, the exact same color as the nether rack above it. And it actually looks like a witch. Wow, that's really cool. This is actually a super sick build. And I can't believe how good it looks. Like it actually looks like a witch riding a broom. So we've got this scary room under here. We've got all nine build hacks now completed inside of our base, which makes this place scarier. So what I'm going to do now is actually go to Discord. I'm going to message someone in the chat and see if they can collect intel on them. Okay, so I know that he's online right now. I'm in Spectator. I'm going to TP to him, all right? Let's see if we can learn anything interesting about him by watching him. TP Red VR High. He's building a base in the middle of the ocean. Looks like he just changed his skin, so we need to fix our heads. That's going to be okay. We now made sure we have the exact head of him, so I'm actually going to swap this out with a few others. There we go. Now, I can't let him know that it's me. So if I go into game mode creative and then vanish, what I can do is I'm now invisible. So I'm going to go ahead and start beginning the scaring process. And the first step is getting him just a little bit scared of what's happening. Love you. Wait, what? Why oh. is this here? <laughs> Why is this here? Why? Why are you always here? at the end of call? Somebody, like, somebody has my head and I'm scared. Concerning, bro. Hold up, they put candles. You know that's kind of freaky. Not gonna lie. Now he obviously can't see me. We're in vanish mode, so he has no idea that I'm actually here. And that's kind of funny because that was the idea, just to get him a little bit scared because we're about to teleport him to the haunted house, <laughs> where he's gonna have to run through it to get his items back. I, I so kind of want to TP. Oh god, I got teleported somewhere. No, wait, 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 red. I'm quest. gonna have a heart red. attack. No oh, god. Wait, yes, I have to read the sign. Guys, our best trap didn't even work. I spent all this time and didn't even push it. It just got stuck on the wall. That's fine. We got more. We got more. It's okay. They don't have to work. We got a few. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is not creepy at all. Yeah. I really need to go and get a pillow for my back, but I guess we're going to do this. Um, uh, nice chair. I'm nervous for you. I'm nervous for myself. I don't really want to look. Creeper. Okay, this dude's a little bit scared right now. He's running through the base. I need him to go to the basement to see the final ritual. And I'm literally not going to say a word to him. He's going to be like wondering what it was for days. Oh, God. It's got even darker. I guess I'm going to Do you have any torches in your inventory and smooth lighting on? Put it in your office. Uh, I don't have smooth lighting on, so no. Turn it on. You should. <gasps> Wait, my you... No, not again. Wait, Red, why yeah. is your brightness so low? Not my it's brightness. Not brightness. He's being oh. trolled. I'm being... I'm gonna have a heart attack. He's gonna try to scare me. 
we, we yeah. have a we have a sneaky suspicion that it's lover fellow. Do I want to go into this room? As concerning, I guess I want to go into this room. Concerning. Why is my head all like oh! sacrificing right now? No! <laughs> no! No! Don't do that to my head! Lightning just it? strikes down upon you. Yeah, oh, it's a witch. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, he doesn't know what he's looking for. I need to make this extremely creepy. Like, now is literally the time where I have to- I have to get this- I have to get this work. Yeah, uh, I, I know. know. I'm nervous. Oh, I don't know. I think- I, I, I think they want you to get in the middle. Are you in the middle? I get oh, you in the middle. I think I am. Yeah, I'm slowly dying. <laughs> Just like no. get me into death. Okay then. <laughs> there you go, there you go. That helps. Okay, hit me again. Thank you. I'll send back to the middle. There you go. Alright, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It did not seem like he was absolutely terrified in these Minecraft builds, so I maybe need another plan. Okay, I'm trying my second attempt here. I just wrote a book. The book said hello. Okay, hello back. You may think this is a joke, but it's not. All he has to do is pick that book up, and all I have to do is put on a head. Oh, what? There's a notebook here. Yar, this is Kira Bryant, you may think this is a Bro. joke. I promise you it's not. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Now guys, one thing a lot of people don't realize is if you take an invisibility potion and then you unvanish yourself, you actually become a floating head. So what I'm going to do is put a boat down and then literally row through the boat as a floating invisible head. It should be so unbelievably creepy to watch this by the base. And this is just a simple pass by. That's all he's going to see. Let's listen in. I, I destroyed Bro. my ball at the wrong time. I, I just went in. <gasps> ah, no! What is that? What, what is what that? There's hair over it. There's like a hair going past my face. Oh my character. Go kill it. Go kill it. Go kill it. Go kill it. Okay, I think he's actually legitimately getting scared now. The hair O'Brien at night just slowly rowing by was super creepy. But like literally, I'm going to hug the crap out of this dude. I don't care what it takes. Be fun. Do it. 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 Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit. Wait. Break his bow. Wait. I was drowning. I win. I killed. I killed. <laughs> I killed him. That's even more creepy. Him slowly falling to the bottom of the ocean is more scary than anything else. Okay, this is a creepy spot to be in. All right, I just muted my mic again. I have a great viewpoint from down here. Look how creepy that is. Just having me hiding down here in the woods. Like if we slowly build it up and slowly make him a little bit like, you know a little bit paranoid about what's going on, the odds of actually scaring him really legit are very high. I need to get a real screen though. I need to actually scare him. Yeah. No, he's moving faster. Oh my God. He's moving faster. No. Wait. No, my don't character. kill him. <laughs> I win. I got the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got you the high the ground. Right power. That. What is that, huh? What? What's that? What is that? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is what is that? What is that? Go away. Ah, it's, no, not love. My face is on fire. Today, I'm surprising Goat with a base flip. And we're going to see if we can turn this hostile and aggressive noob. It kind of feels like you're the fake lover fella. I'm like the lover fella at home. Well, I feel like I'm being bullied right now. Into a thankful and productive member of Minecraft society. Now, RC, while you're teleporting people here, tell me, what would you love your base to look like? I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Maybe we do a, uh, a nature-themed base. Nature, yeah. All right, you keep teleporting people. You start trusting them to your claim. Guys, don't, don't grief. Oh God, this is a nightmare. This is a disaster waiting to happen. All right, let me get started though. So the first thing I want to do is just clean up some of these paths because they're a little bit messy. Okay, so this road really is, it's, it's just like a centerpiece. It's like an inspiring cornerstone. People see this and they say, wow, Loverfell is dead serious about making this base look good. Everyone, listen up. I need you all on this giant stage. We have a noob who needs a better base. By the end of this video, this noob's gonna have the greatest base you've ever seen. I get this idea to make a really cool centerpiece right around this bridge right here. It's gonna be a temporary idea, but if I can pull this off using a cauldron, some magma cube, some trap doors, we're gonna put a cauldron down. We don't actually even need that. Why isn't this bubbling? Bubble. Where are the bubbles? There we go, there we go, there we go. This is how it's done. So it's supposed to be the bubbling cauldron. The bubbles are not currently working and all we have to do then to fix that, I think is just get a bucket 
All right. Nope. I'm gonna be honest with you. This first idea is absolutely trash. Why are we... you so poor, love of fella? Okay, look, he's still working on, on being polite, but that's okay. Look, I do kind of like the little barrier he has right here. We'll actually put a lantern on that. I think that's kind of clean. Now, like I said, we're going for a kind of a nature themed vibe here. Let's give him some nature, some beautiful flowers. Oh, look at this. There's no plants over here. I'll fix it. Dude, look at how much better this looks already. I really hate the bamboo cage right there and I need to change it, but we're getting some action. How are we feeling, guys? What are we working on over here? I am working on the end of uh, nether Oh, that's a good idea. This is good. We need to make this look a lot better, don't we? Yeah. Great. Let's go ahead and tear up the front of this yard. I hate it. We want a grass front yard, folks. Grass only, because that's what rich people have. Let's get in a more creative build. My last hack sucked. Let me try something more unique. So this is a very advanced build, and I'm going to make it right here because this is almost a perfect spot. Hey, hey why do you have a crafting table wall here? That's pretty unique. Um, because, um, uh -huh. sometimes I don't like, like, one crafting table. So you just made a whole wall out of them? Yeah. Guys, I hope you can see why we got to help this player out. He made a crafting table wall. <laughs> First thing, we're going to actually create two chairs. And I will do a drip leaf centerpiece. And I actually want that to come out of the floor here, just like this. These are actually going to be the chairs. I don't think you've ever seen a build. So. The chairs are going to have jungle trapdoor backs. Okay, there we go. So there's our two chairs right there. They look very interesting. And I, like I said, it's going to be a nature base. So then we'll have a little table in the middle. And that's going to be made of moss as well. We'll put some beautiful white candles in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't like that table. I actually hate it. There we go. Okay, so there's our table design. I think it looks pretty interesting. Now, banners, because that kind of gives that chair the full feel. Do you guys see the detail I'm putting into this? It's crazy. So then... He'll be able to- wow, everyone's watching me do this. Okay, this is- I did not expect to have an audience today. Gonna break that. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we basically just ruined every item this guy has collected, and I, I borderline feel bad about it, but at the end of the day, what are you gonna do? Just ruined everything this guy's ever owned and loved, and that's fine with me. There we go. Look at that wall. That's cool. That's got a little bit of detail. Now, it's not as much detail as I want. Look at that. The glowberry vines, bro. This is freaking epic. So now we have this roof taken care of. We're just going to do some more glow berries in the corners to really wrap this up. That is such a sick vibe now. This is like an outdoor little dining area to literally fall in love with someone. Don't mind the explosions, the fans that are obsessing over this build right now. Don't even worry about the kid who, uh, who probably is stealing all his items because I'm sure there's one of those around here. Here's the problem. There's so many people here. It's making it really hard to build to see what's going on. So I cannot get them to leave because they already know that I'm here. So what I'm going to do instead is, guys, if you want to watch the build instead of participate, I'm going to create a little seating area for you. So you guys can actually sit over here in the bleach. Manipulation at its finest. Now let's make a little path up to the base here and make this even completed. There we go. There we go. Last final touches here. I actually think we take this out and pop in like a beautiful little path just like this that you can walk through. Final detail. And then this is actually quite stunning. It's just such a beautiful little centerpiece to have in your base. We're going to pop these on top and that gives it just this nice little professional look. That is so pretty. I'm actually impressed with myself. This actually looks so good. Okay, so we still have the problem of this thing existing back here. This was the original shell of his base that existed. I'm going to break all all of this. So we've completed this, I think. This build looks fantastic as a centerpiece. Now I just want to connect it a little better to the main base, which is over here. I kind of wanted to have a fun vibe, so I'm actually going to do gravel, which is weird, but I think the gravel path will look nice. That is very pretty. Now we're going to continue the flowers, but I don't want to do too many flowers. We could use a flowering azalea, actually. Yeah, there it is. What are you thinking about the base so far? It's looking pretty good. It, it's looking very good. What do you think needs needs work next? Uh, the house. The house. The house. All right, let's make an office space. So if you're sitting in an office, obviously feng shui laws apply. We are losing using actual interior design rules. All right, let's make a chair here. So we'll do that. Now it's a sitable chair that obviously won't move very far. And then we could do a desk in front. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, and then in the center, I'm actually going to add a lectern. This is going to kind of resemble a laptop. This will be his drink holder right here. And then over here, I guess we could do an item frame. And then if I put a sign down, it actually might look like a little notepad. Shift click. It was invisible. Look at that. That's not bad. We need some lights. Okay, so what's cool about this is not only is this actually a functional office, but it's also a secret room. You see, if you walk behind this, it leads you to the secret room. Look at how sick this is. Then he has this hallway, which I guess will turn into some barrel storage, which looks a little better. Finally, we'll add a little bit of detail around the edges here, guys. And we have literally created like the best office that I think I could possibly have ever created. All right, dude, I have added an upgrade to your base. I want you to come take a look at the upstairs of your base. Oh, that is cool. With a secret room in the back of the chair. You like it? You like it? Let's I love it. Jeremy said he was so thankful. We're watching him literally go from a noob to a guy with a bunch of friends to a guy who's literally confident. Let's go. I've been talking about this panda thing for a while over here. It sounds like this is something we all need to start working on because it just looks bad. Square cages? They're a thing of the past. Let's upgrade and make this something new and modern. Let's start by changing the shape, giving it a little more organic vibe. 
Now this is controversial to some of you, but I will actually be making mine have a water feature in it, just like this. It's actually gonna go over the river. A wall out of coral blocks. Then it'll look natural. I'm going to be giving away a blue axolotl for free, no money. Guys, he's giving away a blue axolotl. He's literally becoming so thankful for this moment right now. Despite the fact that we had so many players not helping, he's still so thankful for this. This is actually amazing. What do you guys think? Does the leaves look better? Yeah, that looks really good. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get some lighting up here. Oh yeah, this is coming together. Down, down the, the shape's mouth. mouth. Everyone down the shape's mouth. mouth. Surprise me with something beautiful. I'll look at it in 10 minutes. Now, I just want to show you before after. We're actually looking incredible right now, but I still have the problem of this stupid road I made at the beginning and no solution. We do need to expand our path this way as well. And the nether portal's not centered. Now, to fix this centering issue, we can really not do a whole lot, but we can at least move the fence over. By kind of shuffling the gate like that a little, it does help us somewhat, but it's still got this very odd look to it that's kind of hard to fix. But I think that looks a little better down here. The only thing that this area is really missing that would bring it together is just a little bit more lighting. You know what? I just kind of like that. It's like a little shrubbery. And then for the lantern, we can honestly just freaking place it on the side. We'll keep it simple. Cool. All right, let's oh, check yeah, out the it. inside of this mouth here and see what we got. Guys, this is actually sick. This looks so good. What are you making? It's like a uh, trading hall and then I was going to build like a casino there with blaze uh, grinders and stuff. Bro, let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. I want to see this thing finished. Now that this is cleared up, you can see that we have this weird, awkward open. Oh, okay. He was using that. All right, whatever. We have this weird, awkward open space with literally no home for his pets. You guys see where I'm going with this? We need to take care of our animals in Minecraft. All right, stop animal abuse in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and make him a little cat house. So we're going to make this one out of birch. Everybody's probably wondering what I'm making here. The idea is that the cat has like this nice little house here, but something about it looks weird and I'm not really sure what. It was an innovative take, guys. I don't know if it worked out, but uh, it's okay. You win some, you lose some. I think uh, this one is it's a lose. Let's go ahead and do the final details here. Path comes all the way up to here. And then we just need to connect it to the balcony by adding a nice little pretty staircase here. And then we just got to go through and add a little bit more azalea, but I think we have enough azalea. So for now, we'll do regular leaves because I think if you overdo one thing, it doesn't become special anymore. I like to keep the opening so you can still get through. All right, that looks so much better. And then I do think we need a little bit of tree action here. So we'll do oak here. We'll do a birch here. Now we're going to get some plants out here to give it a little bit of life so it doesn't feel like such a dead space. Wow, the trees added a lot of depth to this base. It really has that nature feel we were going for from the beginning now. All right, check this out. One of my favorite things to do is actually to go in the trees that we just made and then like put the lanterns next to those trees. It kind of gives it such a nice, I don't know, cozy vibe to it. It's hard to explain. Uh, could you give me something, lower fella? Yeah, what's up? Uh, could you give me a science sea pickle? A science sea pickle. I'm going to give you the science sea pickle and I'm going to give you this entire base that we all spent an hour working on. But before I give you the base, yeah. I need you to come find me outside your sheet. There Good you evening. are. Before I give you this sea pickle and allow you to keep this base, I need to ask you one question. What did you learn today from this experience? Not He's a bully. and not bully. Absolutely stunning, my boy. This is going to be Space Station Alpha Omega right here, and it's going to be probably one of the best builds you guys have ever seen. Timer's ticking. Now, we want a small hallway, so I think five is good. We're going to take it up a notch right on the side. So this is just going to be a little hallway. Also, can't be too big. We have one hour to do this. Keep in mind. This is a little bigger than I had initially intended for that main hallway room. But remember, guys, low gravity, low Gs is going to be in here. I'm going to find a way to give them like, oh, oh, I got a really good idea. When you enter, I'm going to put a dispenser with a hopper above it. And inside, it's going to have a bunch of jump potions of spleeping. We're going to do this, bro. This is going to be literally the sickest thing you've ever seen like your entire life. You're going to trigger it. These launch up and they give you jump boost, which means it's literally going to feel like you're in a space station every single time you enter your base. Now, again, there's like random crap everywhere inside a space station. It's like they don't even know what they're doing. So little random crap there, little random crap there. And then they probably put some trap doors down because like it's just, bro, they're unorganized messes. They randomly will have copper just like surrounding entrances. We're gonna go ahead and just like light this thing up with a little bit of pizzazz. This is legit, folks. I'm telling you, man, I'm literally looking at space station. They're just like, yo, let's just throw copper everywhere. All right, another trend I'm noticing is like straight up just storage everywhere. You're gonna have chests, you're gonna have ender chests, you're gonna have barrels. You're just storage galore. I feel like roof wise, I do feel like sea lanterns get just a little bit of a good vibe in here. Like it just like, ooh, Bruh. space. All right, this became, this idea just spoke to me. It said, Zachary, what if you made like a little bit of a shelving unit at the top of this? Like a little bit like that. What else do space stations have for decoration? Maybe like a little verdant frog light, get a little verdant in here. Oh, verdant, how verdant of you. Those kind of feel to me like they're like little samples. Like this is like the storage. And then maybe we could put a ladder that leads up. You might not need the ladder, but if you do need it, we would have the access right here. Oh, my Lanta. It looks like a space station. What's my team doing right now? Wow, this looks interesting. I like this. It 
it's got like a like a satellite vibe to it. And I know another thing in space, they have like little interesting like space showers because I watched this dude take a space shower. Wait, no, I didn't watch him. Anyway, it could be sort of like a shower head, like here and here. And then like we could have like space glass around it. And it like sort of creates like a shower vibe. This is a bad idea. We're gonna we're gonna change that later. Maybe a little amp amp this for more decoration. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm serious, man. This is gonna literally be the best spaceship you've ever seen. Like, at the end, when we surprise this kid with it, bro, he's gonna love it. If he doesn't, I'll murder him or something like that. I don't know. By the way, guys, if you want to win one of these base flips where my team and I come and just, like, literally give you your dream base, uh, just join my server, play.loverfella.com. You know, it's the greatest server ever. See, now you've got this interesting little grabber. We'll add another little grabber right here, and they'll be holding another barrel. Man, it really pulls. It gives the room life. It gives it mechanicalness. It gives it flavor. All uh, right, let's give a little more detail in this bowl. I am considering maybe actually changing this room just a little bit because what I could do is actually turn this into a sleeping quarters with orange beds. See, I think I could pull off like a little bunk bed vibe here. Cause like if you're in outer space, you gotta have like a space style bed. Then you're gonna have a little bit of a ladder on the side to get up to the bed, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then if you're in bed, you probably want glass windows to see outside from bed. I don't know if this is like technically up to standard of space, but like it looks kind of good. Oh, genius. And then below, we do have the option of either doing a bench under each of these as if it is a seating region, which I kind of like, or more beds. No, it won't because you that's the outside of the space station. All right, it has to be seating area. I am pleasantly shocked with how this looks. Timer is definitely ticking outside of this. Really looks fantastic. Poor guy is going to have that disgusting world underneath it, but God. Okay, I want to step away from the inside. What I want to try to do is actually create a floating planet. And so I'm going to do that using some slime blocks here. Uh, a build hack moment, folks. Pay attention. You're going to want to keep this one handy. Here's what we're going to do. We could go in the center of it and put a green frog lamp and then do that. And then it literally looks like a freaking slime planet. What do you think of that planet I just made there? Chibi Chalooza? Really cool. So it is. I like it. Thanks. I Googled it and stole it from online. Oh, you know what else would be cool? What if I made it look like it was like dripping slime? Look, it's a dribbling slime planet that dribbles all the way to the ground right here. And then it dribbles slime over his previous work. <laughs> look at that. Why have you ever seen a dripping slime planet? That is really interesting. I just love it. It makes me very happy. Happy. Oh, look at the sunset, it's perfectly centered. It's truly stunning. What I want to do is create an emergency rocket escape chamber, and I think it would look kind of decent on the top of this as it, maybe. Here's what we're going to do. One, two, right there. Now you can use levers to like attach copper in a fake way. And so like, as you can see, the bottom of our rocket ship is here. Problem is these look like little legs. So if I can break this and attach it like this, then it looks like more like rocket. All right, that was a little bit tedious. Well, we now have the foundation to our rocket and then simply put some iron on the top as a rocket should. And then some sort of a wall for a tip. Oh, there you go. Emergency escape rocket. Then it just needs like a little bit of a hatch right above it to actually fly out of. So we'll go ahead and create like a little hole here of some different style of metal that kind of looks like an opening and I'll just do copper because that looks like it'll open. Okay, so one thing I'm actually thinking about, they don't actually have a way to get up to this base right now. If I could maybe make the entrance right around here. Let's go ahead and try this. So this is where players will like come into land. And this will be how they enter their base. So we're, we're like sort of using their old nasty base here. And then I kind of want to surround it with corn just because I feel like that's going to look really good. Space and corn, they just go together because of interstellar. All right. And then in the middle of it, I'm going to do an X. We'll do an X out of like maybe like white concrete so it stands out really well. So this will be like kind of the way into the base. So we'll have like an entrance on each side. That way they have like a very comforting way to get in. Oh, that looks so cool. What the heck? Look at this base, bro. So this is like kind of the entrance. Now I need a way for them to actually get up there. That looks kind of cool. That like doesn't take away from the base. Um, honestly. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to come back to this because I have the cool landing platform, but I just don't know how do, how do they get in here? I think we'll do a slightly different shape on this one because it's a different planet. All right. For a spicy planet. <clears throat> We will move our planet. All right, as I was saying, for a spicy planet, actually, no, it's more of a meteor than a planet, I guess. All right, so now it's a meteor. So it's obviously going to have some black stone in it and then maybe a trail. My builders around me, they're, they're using like, like glass in a creative way. So I just feel inclined to so copy them. Start off with a thick red flame, transition to a little orange, tie it off with some yellow, give us some flares coming off here. Pew, pew. All right, great. That looks absolutely terrible. I think it needs more of like a flowy feel to it. Hey, that's not too bad. There you have it, folks. A floating meteor coming down and crashing into it. I don't like this little piece right here. I'm pretty happy I pulled that one off. Oh God, someone just created stop. I wish I understood how that was done. Bro, how did you do that? I replaced uh, 0.00. .00. 
1% of the air with the sea lanterns. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go fill in this little... Oh, that's the back. Oh, 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 that's a thruster. Should this connect? All right, I know one thing. In Interstellar, these things connect and they make like weird little Y shapes. So this goes in like this. Oh, I see why it didn't connect it because it's uneven. That's okay. I'm wrong with a little unevenness in your life. If you can just disguise it as such, you can't even tell it's uneven. Why is this thing so good? It's literally not even been an hour yet, dude. All right, what I want to do is also create an alien down here. So alien can be standing guard here. Yes! Long neck alien race. Like, why would they not have, like, long heads? And then at the end, we're gonna do a lightning rod, because that's gonna be, like, where he electrocutes you with it. Um, and then on this hand, maybe we could give him a shield? Hey! That's not bad. I think a banner might help pull him together to, like, put a little bit of clothing on the guy. That's honestly a great-looking alien, as far as aliens go. But we could do this better, because my server has a command called heads, and we can actually just do this and search for heads, and then I can type in alien. <laughs> and then I could literally get an alien head that looks good here. Actually, I like the one eyeball. I'll have that might look really good. Yes! I've got an astronaut helmet, so I'm going to place this somewhere where an astronaut would place it, which is probably next to their bed, maybe? Uh, but they don't really have room, so I'm gonna maybe... I'm gonna put it right here. We have a tesseract here, of course. Uh, we're gonna put this right on the... Uh, Right there. Looks pretty good. I don't know where to put the alien heads because I feel like you need them. Maybe we could be like one of them like big buck hunters and like mount them on the wall. And then like we could put like a little like sign below it and be like Martian 4457. Killed by a constipation bullet. And then this one will be, I'm just going to call this one death by sea pickle. I'm going to leave that one up to interpretation. So guys, we have five minutes remaining. We didn't give him a chest room yet. I gave him a lot of uh, uh, unusable chests is the issue. See, that's interesting as far as chest rooms go. And then you're going to pop on some frames here. They can label these however they choose. And they've got themselves a pretty darn incredible incredible looking chest room that's kind of like very convenient and easy to use. Yo, this thing actually is so cool looking. What's up, H-Dog? Hello, what's up? Are you about ready to see your new base? Yeah. Guys, welcome to the brand new base. We don't have a way for you to get up there yet. Hmm. All right, welcome in. How you get up here is up to you guys. What do you guys think so far? What do you think? Uh, it looks really cool so far. Whoa. Got your, your little, your own torture dungeon back here in the flame area. Anything you guys would change about it? Like any, any things you would like adjust here or something? Or do you guys, any, any? Probably not. I wouldn't change anything. Probably not. All right, all right. What's your favorite part? Definitely the chamber. Yeah, the chamber. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how you're going to get up here, but you probably have the prettiest looking base on the entire server. Now the question is, are you going to keep it or are you guys going to sell it? Um, we're going to keep it, but I've been getting loads of messages about offers, but I just said no, uh, me and my friend want to keep it as a memory. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more base flips, click here for a full playlist to join my server and I'll see you later. Peace.